Hello everyone, this is Angela at Angela's Garden Sense, and you see me up here on my deck. And I'm actually just spraying a little bit of uh, mist here on some seeds, just hoping that they will set. I just planted them here, and um, this is um, not really watering the seeds. This is just spraying them so they will set before I really put a little bit more water in them. You know, a lot of times when you first plant seeds, it's very easy to disturb the seeds after you plant them. So this is just, just so that they will set when I really water them more thoroughly. But just to let you see what I've got planted here, I've got some Viroflé spinach planted. I have some Paris Island cos. I have some Grand Rapids lettuce. I have some red Russian kale, yes I love red Russian kale, and some Swiss chard. And down here I also have some carrots. Now I was not successful with carrots at all. I really was growing them the wrong time of the year. The heat was just a little bit too much for them. So anyway, I'm going to try and see what happens in the fall. But I just wanted to let me back up here so you can see what is going on. So I have my green leafy vegetables here. I have some others that I will be putting down as well. I also want to um, let you see some of my peppers are still alive. So even though they're really warm weather and as the weather gets cool, I know they're not going to do much more. But since the plant is still thriving, this is one of this was a habanero. These are the 3.99 cent peppers. I never up potted them, but they're still doing something. And look at this little bell pepper. Isn't that funny just to see that complete pole and uh, looks healthy. Um, it's supposed to be an early summer is what it's called, but of course it's late summer and almost fall, so it's not going to do much more. This was the old, um, this was the Poblano Ancho, and if you look right up here at the top, see some little peppers forming. Hmm. Maybe a few more warm days will give it a little bit of a boost. And yes, some blooming plants are still here. This is, um, these were zinnias and they're still trying to do something. And I have two of the five tiny tins still remaining. The reason why I'm still letting them remain, because they still have some fruit. Look at that. And look, some of them are ripening. And even though some of the places where blooms once were have clearly died there's clearly nothing there but look over here not only are some ripening it's still putting out can you see that some blooms imagine anyway now I mentioned red Russian kale wanted to show you something over here on the other side um this is what a red Russian kale looks like isn't this absolutely beautiful? It's wonderful to go into a salad. And the leaf is really quite, quite a beautiful leaf as well. And of course, you can see some um, very, very tender um, leaves of some lettuce that I have coming up as well. And of course, I have some more lettuce that's coming up. And of course, to keep the uh, red Russian kale protected from those cabbage moths which were chewed up earlier as you can see they're going under the hoop again so that has really protected them fairly well anyway I just wanted to give you an overview of what was going on on my deck I really still have a lot more to do I will be doing some more um, in the beds in the backyard as you can see to have a little bit of okra and, um, some peppers down there and um, some things to do in the other bed and we'll be putting some soil soon down in this third bed that I recently created. Anyway, just wanted to share with you what was going on on the deck and yes, thanks for watching and please remember to plant something and always eat what you grow. Take care everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.